Here's a quick video just to show you how to fix some relevant issues inside ProBuilder. Um, if you're building an object, so right here I have a little just castle piece that I made in ProBuilder and I actually use some of the textures from the Adventure Forge pack on, um, that's free on the Asset Store, they look pretty great. Um, but you'll notice from time to time you might get these kind of stretched textures or weird things like that, especially if you're doing a lot of extrusions or moving things around, etc. So the way to fix that in ProBuilder is, you know, when you're applying materials, there's two ways. You can drag the material onto the model, or in your material editor, you can come in and assign materials to different slots. And then when you're using your material editor, you can quickly hotkey to those specific materials if you need to, to kind of add different materials on different parts of the mesh. But sometimes you get little errors where you're, or just stretch textures where you see things like this. Right, where it's just all stretched out and doesn't really look like bricks, right? Or even this up here doesn't quite look right. So to fix that, what you need to do is come into the UV editor, which is right here in ProBuilder. And the window looks, let me drag it in here, it looks something like this, okay? So while you're using this tool, let's say you, you find a piece of your model that looks like this and the textures are a little stretched out. So if I click on any part of this model, you're immediately going to see all of these little kind of wireframe shapes inside this model, and also a reference to the texture that they're associated with. So you see this texture right here, because I have this click, that's the texture it's using. Now, just to understand UVs, this texture in UV space repeats in all directions. So imagine this grid was just that texture, the entire grid, that's what it would look like. But right now, if we look at this shape, the shape should probably look more like a rectangle, but right now it looks like this condensed little line. So to fix that, there's a couple things we can do. One, we can just find the UV that's having the issues and just grab our scale tool and scale it out and try to fix it manually. Right, right come in here and scale it, right? right? But if the UV's messed up beyond that or you just maybe you don't even see it, maybe it's just something like that, you can come into this option, convert to manual, and then just hit planar and it's gonna project a new UV of the, of the face that you have selected. So you see now I have that nice face. Now I can move it around in my UV space and get exactly what I need in that texture, okay? Same up here, let's go ahead and fix this one. I'll just come up to my convert to manual in my UV editor, and then I'll hit planar, and there we go, right? So very easy, and one of the nice things is you can use one texture on your whole model, but in each of your UVs, you could come in and change the size, well, well, not right there, change the size inside my UV editor to get various effects. Let's say we want a bigger stone up here, smaller stone over here, bigger stone right there, maybe one of these ones a little bit smaller, right? You could kind of go around your model and find these different areas and kind of fix them. So very, very powerful tool. Hope this helps you out. If you're having any of those stretched issues on your model, this is exactly what you need to do, is just come into this UV editor, um, mess around with the projections of whatever they are doing. Now you can do multiple projections also, just to put that in here. So if I wanted a group of UVs, let's say all of these, you know, I want all those, they're, they're wrong, I want them all to have the same thing, I could select that entire group right there, go to convert to manual, and then say planar, and then I get one UV, of all of those and they're all nicely connected, right? So I can come in and, and kind of join them that way. So you get like rooftops or things like that. If you had a rock, you could do like the top of the rock all in like a circumference and then do a uh, planar projection and get that UV. So super powerful tool beyond just, um, you know, scaling, you can also rotate inside here if you need it to go a certain way. You can also contort if you if you had like a diff interesting shape in your texture map or if you had like a custom texture map with let's say like an archway in it, I could come in and grab my vert tool and you know go to a specific UV. We'll just use that one for example and I could move these UVs to to fit a certain shape if I had something inside my my window that that fit that particular shape. So there's a lot that you can do with it. Um, but just, just a heads up, if you're having issues with those stretch textures, it's not working out for you, you're like, what's going on? 
just go into the UV editor and start messing and projecting with the planes on your model and then moving the UVs around and I guarantee you're going to get much better results. So hopefully this helped and look forward to seeing your guys' projects.